So I'm going to select the footage and I'm going to go and grab my pen tool and I'm going to draw a loose uh, selection around this girl, just like that. You will have to tell After Effects that you are trying to select that person. So I'm going to select my mask and I'm going to reverse this selection. Yeah? Because whenever you create a mask, basically you're trying to throw the rest away and you're keeping that person. But we want to do the other way around. We want to do a subtract. We might want to make a hole inside here. That's what After Effects wants. He wants to see the hole. So let me go back to here and adjust some of these points. So I'm just saying that to After Effects, if you see this particular draw or the shapes, remove that out. So I'm going to just go around here, make sure I have my mask path selected. And I'm, I'm making a keyframe and I'm going to the end of that timeline. And I'm going to remove this mask so it, it still covers the, the person here. Maybe change some, some shape as well. I'm just going to tell After Effects that if you see this girl anywhere, remove it. So I'm in the middle of that frame. I think we are okay with this. Just move it a bit down. As long as you don't see her. All right. In fact, I can just do a none here. I can see, still see her. Yeah, I can still see her. Okay. So she's okay there. The Basically, the frame is following her. And that's all you have to do. Maybe somewhere here, I can double click and I can say just up a bit. Give After Effects to use the frames. I can delete this one here. I yeah, don't need this one. Okay, cool. That's much better. You can see her inside the, the little frame that shape I've created. I'm going to go back to subtract. And all you have to do now is just click on this button called Generate Fill Layer. That's all. Generate Fill Layer and for After Effects, I'm going to do the rest for you. Come click on that. Just wait for a couple of seconds. It's analyzing. There you go. She's gone. Right? How amazing is that? If I play, if I do a play, if I do a just play once and then you can see that she's totally gone. How cool is that? And the shadows, I can do another pass, which I'm not going to do because maybe you guys can attempt it because I don't want to waste crucial time for that. But you guys get the idea, right? That's how cool is that you remove things from After Effects just like that. Just a couple of clicks.